Oh my god, look at the babies! There's so many babies! Oh my god, that noise. I don't know what that was, but it was adorable. Hello there you guys, it's Michelle Lossie and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we are back with Planet Zoo and we are back in our giraffe sanctuary and we are in our Maasai Zoo. So I've done a little bit of editing off camera just because I know a lot of the building in this game takes me so so long to do. But as you may be able to tell, we've edited the sign a bit. I'm a lot happier with it and a lot of you guys expressed some love for the sign and said it looked nice. But we've added a little bit more so it looks a little bit more cohesive with the zoo. I also had a good go at like editing the toilet block. Just just to see if I could like create some sort of style that obviously will work on and develop as the zoo develops but a style for what the buildings will end up looking like for now and I think off camera I'm gonna edit all the others but I just thought I'd give you a little sneak peek at what we're going for like very earthy tone orange themes and wooden with like some nice overgrown bits which I think look nice I think it really ties the whole zoo together I don't know I'm getting really excited it's coming together now also I've been considering changing the path to maybe something a little bit darker I might go for something like these logs luckily we haven't made too much of a path so we don't have to change too much also I guess since we're doing the path let's just extend this around here a little bit but yeah at the moment this this zoo is looking pretty good the habitats are looking excellent and the animals seem very happy one thing else I did was I popped another hard shelter down because these guys wanted another one uh, but yeah all of our animals are seeming to be very very happy which is good to hear and hopefully they're gonna start breeding which will be exciting in general I've been thinking about like what kind of goals we want to have here and I think I want to get some good vet research and some mechanical research done as well so mechanical research helps you design your zoo better and also gives you like more food shops and more power stuff and upon playing sandbox mode on stream it's actually been really helpful because it's let me see everything that you can unlock like eco friendly power so i think that's definitely something we want to do to do that though we do need a bit more staff so i was thinking about hiring some staff i'm not going to hire too many people just so we can manage our money well but let's get at least one more mechanic in here and then we can get some mechanical research being done our vet research is going very well which is great great but let's get one of our mechanics on something so in terms of themes I think Africa theme is probably the most similar to what we're building because we're going with lots of woods and stuff but I think at first let's do star facilities so we can get like larger keeper hearts which means you don't need to have as many of them so let's do that let's also check our profit right now we are making a little bit of profit not as much as we probably want I put the prices down to five five just because apparently some people are finding it a bit too expensive but as you can see the zoo ticket prices are looking good before we like build around here I need to make sure that we make room for paths to go off so I'm gonna kind of go into the center of this and then maybe it'll like branch out this way oh god the weather is appalling isn't it oh yay our gazelles are having offspring that's really good so we've got loads of people grouping around here let's make sure that we have an educational speaker and we can even extend the range a little bit get everyone educated in that vicinity and then we've got the same going over here you guys having fun oh these guys are absolutely beautiful like they're coloring oh I love them okay so I guess we want to think about working on a new habitat I think the next habitat will probably be around here so I guess let's start working on that I do want to quickly check are these guys okay with interspecies which means we can have like multiple species in the same habitat which might be cool it may be a bit small of a habitat but we'll give it a go so we've got our gazelle so if we click here we can see oh yeah okay these guys are pretty good because they can go with lots of different types of animals oh reticulated giraffes if only <laughs> but yeah we could get ring box we could get antelope I guess it's just looking at what the most cheap is and then we'll go with that let's have a look Springbok. Oh, very cheap actually. All right, let's get this girl. And then maybe we should just get a money boy, if that makes sense. The one that you spend money on to get. And there we go. We have two Springbok that we can whack into our zoo, which is very exciting. We need to check if the terrain and everything is good for them. But normally when they're interspecies, they have similar likes and dislikes, which is why they can kind of go in together. But let's have a look and make sure that we have some enrichment and things for them. And then we're going to have to also get some research done. I think they like pretty much the same things, but all of this I think is also been researched because we had our antelopes being researched but let's put some scratching posts in here we only have one water place maybe we should get another and we can pop it like right here we can get another feeding trough over here and they'll probably want another hard shelter but we'll see oh these guys are beautiful as well god we've got some lovely animals in here okay so they seem to be liking the habitat but yeah they definitely want another hard shelter and there's a bit too much coverage in here for their liking so let's just get rid of some things there we go that was perfect <laughs> so we're gonna get one more hard shelter i think it doesn't 
have all the lovely glamorous flowers around it like this one does. As you can see, I went a bit crazy with design. I got a bit excited. There we go, cool. So that should be good for both animals. We'll just have another check. God, they want a lot of hard shelters, don't they? Okay, we're gonna get another one in here. I guess we could just get like a massive one. I think I'd rather just keep it like this. There we go. Okay, brilliant, cool. Very, very happy. I got some more vet research done, which is brilliant. So I think a lot has been done on the gazelles. So let's move our vet over to do the spring block for a little bit. And hopefully this is gonna get some more money in. Should we have a look at our challenges actually? So adopting some habitat species. So we've got one of them, so we need to adopt one more. Our guest numbers need to reach 300, which we're almost at. And we need to get profits on our tickets. I'm gonna try and pop the price up again, just to see what it does. If not, we can just pop them back down again. Let's have a look at our mechanical research. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I mean, it's it's taken a while, it's taken a while. Finances, oh, we're making a lot of profit actually now. Oh, brilliant, okay, cool, really good. Ooh. What is going on here? Oh, you guys are eating. Oh, look at the babies. There's so many cute babies. Yep, yeah, I can't deal with this. This is too adorable. Oh my gosh. So we've got an inspector coming in four months. So we have loads of time to do loads to our zoo. Do we want to make a new habitat? Or do we want to just continue with these ones? We actually could start making like the little exhibits, which are like these tiny little boxes, which have small animals in them like this. They're a little bit pricey, but I mean, we could get one and just see how it goes. I don't know, maybe this could be like a little exhibit area or we'll like kind of go off this way a little bit and kind of we can do like a whole archway situation also sorry if you can hear some really annoying drilling some neighbor of mine decided now is the good time to drill cool let's do here so with these we need to get an exhibit animal in here you can get all sorts as you can see including insects so frogs do pretty well they multiply really really fast though I'd love to get a little iguana or we could get a snake that would be really cool this guy looks good he's a common death adder which is a bit scary. Yeah, why not? So I'll put him in here and we also have to get research done on here. We need to adjust the temperature a little bit so he doesn't get too warm. The humidity needs to be a little bit lower as well. So maybe like 76 would probably be the best. For windows, I'm gonna close the back ones. I know that only gives them one view, but for the moment, I think one view is fine. And then as you can see, there's different things we can research. So let us get a vet on that. Where are you, snake? Can I even find you? Hello? Oh, he's there. Yeah, look at him, little camouflage dude. Cool, nice. Uh, so to go with this, we still need like donation boxes and there's also signs you can get. So let's do that. We've got an exhibit education board, which we can put right here. Also, we can get an educational speaker that we can put right here. Then of course, a classic donation box. Then hopefully people come over here. Yay, okay, cool. So our ticket profit decided to escalate, which is great. And guest numbers as well, nice. Getting some lovely money in here. Let's start working on our little entrance way. I kind of want to do something similar like we did here with the log. So let's kind of do that. Kind of want to make it kind of tallish. Maybe we could just get one of these across. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> They're like really struggling to get through. And there we go. Kind of have like a, a cool thing. What is going on here by the way guys? They really don't seem to want to walk through this area. And eventually I think we'll get a sign but for now we're just gonna do this. Oh my god look at the babies. There's so many babies. Look at them all. They're adorable. Let's go check out our other exhibit as well. How are you guys doing all interest species and all? You enjoying yourselves? I think they're enjoying themselves. Oh, look at you. Oh God, there's a bit of an alert on you. Why is that? Feeders, the feeders aren't doing very well. Let's get these filled up. Why are you stressed? Oh no, social. I mean, maybe it's like the massive amount of people that are watching. At some point, I think hopefully when we get a lot of research done, we can turn this into one way glass because that would definitely be cool. We've got babies. I know we got baby ones of you as well. Oh my God, that noise. I don't know what that was, but it was adorable. God, the graphics in this game, guys, it gets me every time. I'm still thinking about what we want to do with the central area. I thought about making it like a pond and we can make some sort of fountain thing, but I don't really know. We'll work on it, we'll work on it. So in terms of staff, I think there is enough. We probably could get another keeper. So I'm gonna just drop one in there right there. And how many keepers huts do we have? I think we have two. Do we only have one staff building? You know, I might get another one just in case. The shape of the zoo is gonna look really weird. I think in the end, it's gonna look really cool though, like loads of different sections and some are gonna have water in it. Okay, so these are getting it super busy. Let's look at our mechanical research. So they're getting there. Let's have a look and see if anything's been researched. I think you might have to wait for it to complete to get something. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, who made this? I made this. <laughs> oh God, that's hilarious. Right, I don't think there's any new ones, annoyingly. Oh, a monorail. Stuff like this I wanna work on. I don't actually know how these work, but I'm pretty sure that it's a cool thing that like you can wrap around the zoo and then people can travel around like a little safari 
everything. You can also get Sapphire ones. I think this is just to get to different places in the zoo. We could definitely do that at some point. We also probably need lights. That's something we should do. But there we go. Our mechanical research is done. So we have better star facilities and then we're going to get on some drink shop next. Oh, look at these. We've got some like large keeper huts. So we're gonna go with these, put one here, and then we're gonna get rid of this keeper hut, I think. Bam, beautiful. Wait, an inspector came? What? Oh no. Okay, so our habitats look amazing. It's just our education that isn't good. So let's turn on our little heat map. There's not a lot of education going on until you get to the habitat. So I think maybe we can put on some stuff. So these are conservation education boards, which help educate people about different issues. So we'll have one here and then this one we can have yeah let's do deforestation and the other one we can do is climate change there we go so that's hopefully gonna bump up the education a little bit and we got some vet research done let's go check in with our little reptile friend and then we can actually get you some more stuff for your layout large rocks there we go <laughs> covers him up a little bit but i mean it's fine i'm thinking about maybe having it so that people can go to the sides like this just so it does open it up a little bit so let's put this front and center here let's make sure we open up some of the windows sorry dude i know we're, we're making you a little bit more exposed but there we go oh god this end of the zoo actually looks very very empty i think we need to move some things to make it look a little bit more exciting we will make an attempt in this horrible weather <laughs> okay let's get some more trees in here obviously we'll end up moving some of these around but for now we can just get a little bit more nature in here beautiful looking good although this weather is not at all so we have some new challenges so one is to release a thompson gazelle to the wild so let's Let's have a look at this habitat and let's look at our gazelle. So we have two females and one of the females is a little baby one. So essentially we could probably release the mother but I think we'll wait until they're a bit older. And then let's have a look at our spring box. They haven't bred yet. And then for these African wild dogs, there's quite a few dogs in here. We can release you. And it gets you quite a few conservation credits. He is a really good rank though. I think I'm gonna leave him in the zoo. But we'll wait for all of the young'uns to grow up and then that'll be good. Oh, what are people saying about our zoo? Are you guys liking it? Oh my god, that profit though. Jeez. So people are thinking the prices are fair. People still think it's quite small and people are happy, not happy, unhappy about the weather. I mean, that's not my fault. I can't really do much about that. <laughs> I mean, we could put little undercover areas here, but I don't know. Not many people are going down here, are they? There's a few donations. And then these guys are getting a lot of love, which is great. Lots of money as well. Okay, so this zoo is actually looking pretty good. I'm probably gonna, oh, no, I'm not. There's low welfare why are they stressed so sure oh it's the adult population is it too few adults and juveniles they want more of them we're gonna buy another gazelle just because they're not breeding fast enough for their liking just because we obviously don't want them stressed it's okay it's okay we're moving someone in all is good there we go come on drop the box do it there we go there we go oh it's going up oh it's fluctuating i don't know what's happening there you go look we've got another adult they really like adults actually in their population it's super high oh sorry we just watched you take a shit you guys want an adult as well? God, we might have to get another spring book, you know. Maybe we should get one more spring book. Let's go wild. We'll get them another one. Okay, so hopefully that's going to help with everyone. I think these animals are going to start feeling a lot better because we've got a few more adults in. We just need to keep an eye on that. We did adopt another habitat species, which means we get more money. Yay, cool. That research is completed. Let's have a look if there's any more enrichment that we can get for these gazelles just before we wrap this episode up. Oh yeah, they have like a hanging graze feeder. That's pretty cool. Cool. I'm gonna put some stuff over here so people actually come and look. That's my strategy anyway. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Cool. I think that is gonna be about it, guys, for this episode. So it's been a bit of a dismal day at the zoo with a lot of animal problems and very, very poor weather. But we're getting there. We have new species in the zoo. We've got two new species and it's looking a lot better. Off camera, I'm gonna do a little bit of work in terms of architecture, but I'm probably gonna keep it paused so nothing happens in the meantime. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you did enjoy the episode episode. I know a lot of you are enjoying this Planet Zoo series, so do let me know what changes you would like to see made in the zoo, what additions you'd like to see, and that kind of stuff. But if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel. Also, do feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!